is weird living apart. <laughs> yeah. We are living apart, right? I mean, th this is healthier? Of course it is. Well, if it were unhealthy, we wouldn't even think to ask if it were unhealthy. Good point. Also, I, uh, I gave my phone number to that guy at Borders Books. Phone number or business card? Business card. Not hot. Why? What? Hi. I'm intimidated by the possibility of rejection, but my secretary isn't. Call her. <laughs> I'm not intimidated by anything. Then call. Well, yeah, and what if he's there, huh? He says hello, and where does that leave me? You are a disgrace to your people. Oh. <laughs> See, that, that is where you were wrong. You know, th th this, there's this whole myth that it's easier when two guys are involved. Totally untrue. It's, it's, it is not so easy for a guy to meet another guy in this city. It's a raven man! <laughs> Clubs. Jack was in fuego all night. The lovelies were buzzing around me like, like what? Like moths to a flamer? <laughs> Actually, more like fat to a will is fat. <laughs> oh, touche. Okay, you two are gonna play bitchy McSnipe. I'm gonna head back to my place. Just don't understand why someone would subject themselves to a constant barrage of insults day after day. Honey, your new dump smells like cat pee. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Poodle. Who's your daddy? You are. Sorry to get you up so early, Karen. Oh, grow up, honey. I haven't been to bed yet. <laughs> I need to speak to both of you about Rosario. Hey, hey, hey. That's Mrs. Jack McFarland to you. <laughs> I thought you were Mrs. Jack McFarland. <laughs> and I thought you didn't have love handles. I guess we're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I got a call from my friend at the INS yesterday, and apparently the marriage between a 30-year-old gay man and a postmenopausal Salvadoran maid flagged something in their computer. <laughs> No. Look, they're going to start making random visits to verify that Jack and Rosario are a real married couple. So, since their official residence is listed as your place, I think the best thing would be for Jack to move into your penthouse. I just adore a penthouse view. <laughs> oh, my very own sexless marriage. <laughs> just like Will and Grace. No, not like Will and Grace. We don't even live together anymore. She's got her own apartment. Eight dysfunctional feet away. <laughs> Lord, they're like Siamese twins who are joined at their boring personalities. <laughs> Look, Grace and I are now totally independent. Separate homes, separate lives, separate... Showering, showering, showering. <laughs> Lord, how Jiffy popped her head. 